and integral calculus. Today we are going to discuss integrals of exponential functions. Now there are two equations, there are two integral integration formulas of exponential functions. So we have here the integral of e to the u du and the integral of a to the u du. Now for the integral of e to the u du is equal to e to the u plus e. While the integral of a to the u du is equal to a to the u all over ln of a plus c. Now, remember that e to the u, a to the u, both e and a are, are the base of the exponential functions. E, however, is a fixed value, it's a constant. A here is any constant, any constant value. So that's the difference between A and E. Okay? Now, if you uh, integrate uh, a given integral, you have been presented with the uh, three integration formulas. To start with the power formula, and we have the uh, integrals leading to logarithm, and now we have integrals of exponential function. See to it always that you target the intended integ integration formula in order for you to resolve the given integral. So in this case, our topic is integral of exponential functions. See to it we're going to target these two uh, formulas so that we'll be able to determine its uh, solution. Now for the given uh, integral, we have here our first example. We have here the integral of e to the square root of x all over the square root of x dx. Now since from the given uh, integral, we would try to arrive at the integration formula e to the u du. So let's automatically let u equal to the square root of x because this is the exponent of e so we have now e to the u so when we have here uh, our u then our du will be one half x to the negative one half dx wherein it's just equal to one all over two times the square root of x dx so if you look at our given integral we have e to the u and the remaining terms are 1 over the square root of x dx or dx over the square root of x. Since we have 1 over 2 times the square root of x dx as our du, then we need to multiply a correcting factor of 2 in order for our equation uh, to follow the formula of e to the u du. So multiply a collecting factor of 2 here. So we have now uh, the integral of e to the square root of x dx all over the square root of x. Just uh, rearranging our given integral. It's now equal to 2 times the integral of e to the square root of x times 1 over 2 times square root of x dx. When this, where this is this will be our e to the u here, and this is our du, okay, our du here. So from the formula, so we have now e to the u du, therefore, the final answer will be the square root, e to the square root, the integral of e to the square root of x all over the square root of x dx is just equal to 2 e to the square root of x plus c, okay. So again, whenever you're faced with a given integral, try to identify uh, what possible integration formula that may be applicable to the given integral term and see to it that you are going to target that uh, formula in order for you to resolve the integral term. Okay. Now let's go to our second 
example. So we have here the integral of 1 plus e to the 2x all over e to the x dx. Now, of course, this one, we can split this into sum of two fractions because this is plus. So this is just equal to, this one is just equal to the integral of 1 over e to the x dx uh, plus the integral of e to the 2x all over e to the x dx. Now, 1 over e to the x is just equal to e to the negative x, okay? So this is just the first integral term just equal to the integral of e to the negative x dx. While e to the 2x all over e to the x is just equal to e to the x because 2x over x will be cancelled. What remains is e to the x. So we have here the integral of e to the x dx for the second term. So this is just a straightforward uh, uh, solution. So if you let u equal to negative x, so your du is negative dx, that's why you have a negative 1 correcting factor here. So the integral of this is negative e to the negative x plus e to the x plus c. Now rearranging, because this is a negative sign, so we write the positive term first. So we have e to the x minus e to the negative x plus c. So that will be the solution for this given integral term. Now we go to the uh, an integral term which uh, may be uh, solved using the second uh, formula of integral of exponential function, this one, a to the u. So that's what I meant by the difference between e and a. So we have here uh, 10, uh, which is a constant, of course. Okay. So, the integral of the square root of 10 raised to 3x dx. So, if you rewrite this one, this is the integral of 10 raised to 3x all over 2 dx. So, our a here is 10. So this is our base. So, our u is 3x over 2. So, let's try substituting 3x over 2 as our u then automatically our du will be 3 over 2 dx. So if we substitute our equation, our u and du to the equation, then we need to multiply a correcting factor of 2 thirds. Okay? So you have here 2 all over 3 or 2 thirds, the integral of 10 raised to 3x over 2 times 3 over 2 dx. Okay? So, so we have now 2 over 3, 10 u du, so 10 is our a, therefore from the formula, the final answer will be 2 over 3, 10 to the u all over ln of 10 plus c, but u is 3x all over 2, therefore the final answer of the integral of the square root of 10 raised to 3x dx is equal to 2 over 3 times the quantity 10 raised to 3x all over 2 all over ln of 10 plus c. So again, when you solve exponential functions, integral exponential functions, you just uh, try to, to remember these two integration formulas involving exponential functions, okay?